All right, we got Hive Mind. Um, it's an older video, actually, from two years ago. But, um, you know, I, it's been sitting in the playlist for two years, so I was like, I might as well check this out real quick. We got the album art to your list. It should be good, and I probably didn't listen to any of these albums. All right, I here did, we go. Probably. Ah, <laughs> Let's see. No. Let's see, man. What's up? You're watching Hive Mind, the most honest show on the internet. My name is Riley Zosman, by my succulent co-host, Graydon. <laughs> Ah, good to the last drop. Today wow. we're talking about design and it's gonna get graphic. This is <laughs> album art tier list. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen the other ones, this is how it's gonna work. We're gonna look at some popular album covers and rank them tier list style. Let's see what right, we got, you do, bro. Make sure you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more. HiveMindTV.com for our merch and also consider joining our Patreon. It's only five Shout out to the members. The you, you get extra content and you get to help Grant put together the games. And I'll send you a praying mantis in the mail. So we are ranking mm. these from a design standpoint. I Brilliant. have a graphic design degree, and I have a True. letter from my four times great grandfather sealed in his blood. I have a graphic oh. design degree, and I have a questionable judgment of character. <laughs> I have a graphic design degree, and I have a spare tire in my bedroom. <laughs> no, I have I've a seen that design one. Degree, and I have a mouse that lives in my pillowcase. <laughs> his name's Winslow. <laughs> Did Yo. you go graphic design school, Dad? <laughs> First one, we've got DS4. DS4, okay, it. DS4. Coming, my baby. I would turn pesbian for this one. I love this cover. <laughs> I like it a lot. I really like Daniel Arsham's work. Of course. Yeah. Uh, mm. Of course. I love that tint that he has and everything, that bluish gray. Cleveland. I don't think I'm familiar with the artist, but I do know that I personally love this cover mainly because it just reminds me of you know the mentor the the leader the ysl king slime um you know the slime season the original slime season cover a lot of y'all probably don't have this one i ain't gonna lie but right here bro that slime season cover is so hard and it just you know it kind of takes me back so nostalgia for me is a big part of what made me like this cover but also i just think it's very creative you know you don't really see covers like this and i feel like part of the problem with a lot of rap covers is they're you know super similar this looks like just an art piece of gunna you know but still <laughs> yes. Creative director for the Cavs? Yeah, and he's right? from Cleveland. Oh, okay. Really? Awesome. Yeah, I, I think it was a great call for Gunna to work with him. Yeah. It does kind of, it's emblematic of the statuesque covers we saw for Drip Too Hard and kind of that era felt like yeah. it did a lot of yeah. that. And this has kind of brought it into almost like an NFT space. Yeah. It mm. feels timely, but it doesn't feel corny. Yeah, this is a non-corny example of something that feels a little bit NFT 3D sort of thing. Absolutely. And you get the Fair. peaks at the gems through the statue. Uh -huh. It feels like, I think we said this in another video, but it feels modern and retro at the same time. Low key. Right. Yeah, I think Low this key. Like, style of design by him was originally it's an, like, an exhibit for me. Like, 3021 or something. Right. And he's taking like slam magazines and stuff like Pokemon cards and then like fossilizing it essentially, yeah. which I think is a really cool concept. Yeah, I think this is an A. Yeah, this yep. is not good quite a. an S for me. But nah, I think it's an A because it does ring just for a sure. slight bit, like it's gonna age a little bit corny. Yeah, you know? I can see that. A and tiny it's bit being replicated so much that that will help along in that process of becoming cornball. Here we go. We've got. If you're reading this, it's too late. Huh. By this Drake. is an S I've for me, been. but it, like at this time when this project came out bro i was the biggest drake laser like if you think academics is bad in 2015 i was worse than him bro like i'm telling you i'm telling you bro but i think this right here it's like honestly it's it's, it's a shame this video came out before for all the dogs but like yeah i think it's a better version of utilizing like that childlike art kind of thing with this uh you know like kind of style i guess of writing even though i do know this is a graffiti artist i'm pretty sure that this is his style so like there's that too but i think this is like way better than like fat d of being like yeah my kid did this because he didn't have a kid then but you know and then the 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 sick god praying hands i had an emoji i had to get an app for emojis for that for that like literally bro like it's just i don't know i think it's very you know straight to the point that's it. For reading this is too late because it's such a banger project and people didn't realize that until years after, bro. It's, it's the best Drake project to a lot of people for good reason. And if you're reading this, it's too late. He already, you know, he gave up. Kind of. I mean, until recently. I guess he started rapping again, but 
hated this cover. See, I've always loved it. Yeah, I know you have. It's but fire. Go ahead, go ahead with your critique. It's like Drake trying to do like the murderer writing. Or Realistically, something. this like would be me, like the sociopath locked in his room with like a captive. He's got future <laughs> captive or something. <laughs> I like to imagine. <laughs> the way that's aged. Oh that man. Drake was just like, let me write the name of it and see what happens. And this is just how he writes. <laughs> He's just like, <laughs> terrible handwriting. That'd be so He's funny. Like, um <laughs> And I didn't know that it was a graffiti artist either. I for the long for the longest I thought that's exactly what it was. I thought it was just Drake being Drake. But it was it's a graffiti artist that did that art. Jesus, Drake. That's all more of his work. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Makes sense. Drake is just the king of making a meme format as an album. And That's I've true. said this in plenty of our tier lists of album covers and stuff. But I mean, people are writing anything in this little yeah. typeface. They made it so that you could. Yeah. You know? It does have an iconic quality, but that's just like the substance behind the cover. And as in terms of a cover, I just, I hate this one so much. Yeah, I can, I mean, I, I see that. I don't think it's like an S or anything, but I like no. that it's a good meme format. Yeah, I don't think it's a D or an F, but mm -hmm. I think it's like a C. See, for me, it's like a B. It's a B. It's a C. Okay, well, we'll do C with it for sure. Honestly, I think something that would have made it an S is if it said, if you're reading this, you're too high. Oh, yeah. And then, like, it's like a hologram, and if you move it a little bit, it's got Drake, like, screaming on it. Like, what the fuck? What were you going to say? I was just going to say, I've been a big fan since Passion Fruit. I don't know why that long ago. Since Nice for What, I've been writing for you. Yeah. I'm an OG. I mean, I've been around since God's Plan. They much talked about one. We've got The Weeknd. Don FM, I love this cover. He's old. The commitment to that right there is crazy. Like, you would think it's Photoshop, but like, he really was an old man for like a couple days. I got to give it to him for that, bro. And his VFX artist went crazy and always does. I mean, some of his Halloween looks. I mean, come on, bro. I don't think he's fat. He's going crazy, man. I don't think he's going crazy. I absolutely love this cover. You don't often see movie makeup. You right. Literally, cover. you don't. You know what I mean? Like practical effects. Yeah. It's proof that it is because he wore this out. He performed yeah. with this. And it works with the album so much because they're saying the next album in the trilogy is going to be Afterlife. This is Which, like two years later, we still don't have yet. Abel, what are we doing, bro? Come on, man. You over here. I know you're having fun with Future and Metro right now. It's this season, but bro, where the album at, bro? Oh, man. An end of life type of concept album yeah. for the weekend, which I think yeah. is a very interesting space for him to play in. The album's a lot about death, a lot about mm -hmm. last days, yeah. a lot mm -hmm. about the dread, existential dread. Mm -hmm. I, just, I like to see Regret. that. I'm excited for him to be reborn, too. I want to see what Angel Weekend's like. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Or maybe devil weekend <gasps> well i don't know i feel like he'll, he'll be reborn as monday probably that's what comes after mm, low key low key that would suck <laughs> lasagna is good though lasagna is good but i do hate those mondays yeah yep. i'm like the boomtown rats that way <laughs> I don't like Mondays. I do love this photo though. The color's great. Yeah, and just it the is. expression on his face of like that tiredness mm. of being old. Because you can get the the makeup completely right and then right. get the too lively of an expression. Yeah, but it really does feel just like old. It looks and tired, tired, man. And done. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. This one's an easy yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. It has to be. I All agree. Right, here we go. <laughs> Mainstream sellout. Now I will say the deluxe cover is hard which is the only version that I have saved, even though I haven't listened to it yet. I think that's a hard cover. He looks like Patrick, you know, kind of. I do have a couple of songs, like, but, you know, that original cover is but, bro, this is an F. I uh, know. This is an F. So this is the actual new album cover from Machine Gun Kelly mainstream sellout. So this is real. This is the real cover. It was mm -hmm. posted a few days ago. I can, hey, I can do some zooming for you. Yeah, I want to take it's a real so good bad. long look at this one. Uh, and it's crazy okay. because have, Tickets to My Downfall, that cover, I think, both of them, the original and the deluxe, I feel like both of them are great and fit the vibe of the album. Whereas this, like, I obviously I haven't listened to the whole thing, but like, Pink Tomatoes is crazy, bro. That's just... There's no Many excuse. It's crazy. This one. Let's hear them. List uh, them. One, the outfit and stance. 
This man yeah. is 31 years old. Yeah. <laughs> he is like that inward facing pop punk, like draw, like this is a battle <laughs> the bands photo. Yeah, you know low I mean? key. Secondly, you've got these floating pink tomatoes. Yeah, those ones are just floating, aren't they? Yeah. Which I understand what this is supposed to signify. It's supposed to be, yeah, you're getting yeah. booed off stage. They're pink because his color is pink for all his stuff. Because like he doesn't care about mas old masculine tropes. I think it's yeah. more, I want to be Lil Peep. Yeah. That is really what he's doing. <laughs> nah, he's just trying to be Lil Peep. This whole thing is a Lil Peep cosplay thing. Okay. The real. other thing is, where is the focus in this photograph? Yeah, mm. I was thinking that. Because like the tomatoes that are close, all the tomatoes are blurry that are floating. Yeah. Yes, but the tomatoes that are on the ground in the foreground are in focus. <laughs> yeah, perfectly in focus. Uh, the tomatoes even close to him are not more in focus than the ones in the front. At all. Like, whoever did this legitimately from a graphics design standpoint did a bad job. Yeah. Like, even for what they're trying to do. Tell them, Riley. And then also, <laughs> mainstream sellout, the type. Mm -hmm. I understand what you're trying to do. You're doing an early 2000s pop punk thing. Yes. Yeah. The tiny type where it's sitting looks so awkward. The anarchy A we need to stop with. Machine yeah. Gun Kelly? Come on, you're working with Travis Barker. You got yeah. Pete Davidson on the album. Yeah. Like, <laughs> nothing is anarchist about this. You're a millionaire. Yeah. Stop Literally. doing the anarchy thing. You're a capitalist swine. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, oh, the cutout like army type with the pink, like the yeah. spray paint. It's just the whole thing, this is one of the worst albums. It's gross. I've ever seen. And honestly, I think it's not that the concept is bad, it's, it's that the concept is bad and then it was executed terribly. I think someone can take this concept and make it better. And it would still suck just because it's a bad concept, but like at least it would be bearable. This is just unbearable. Yeah, I feel like it's just doing as many callbacks as possible. It's like you guys remember Green Day, you remember the Anarchy Symbol, you remember Lil Peep. Like it's just one thing after another, yeah. all kind of like a yeah. poop. Poopery. Yeah. A poopery. Mm. A poopery. Yeah, if you will. A poopery. <laughs> Put out some poopery. We're having guests over there. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah. Seriously, fuck you. Yeah, that we st we stand on that, too. Uh -huh. And shout out to Ro Ramden for making the video that I suggested, Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox. So if you'd like to go watch that video, it's Ro I'm Ramden so glad they broke up. 40 minutes of It was the most jokes. unserious. You know, like, heartbreak aside, I really don't care. It was just so unserious. Like, I couldn't take that seriously just like honestly cindy chalamet and kyle jenner bro i can't take that seriously i think they're both very attractive people do they work together no in my opinion that's just you know me which doesn't matter who cares what i think but i'm saying though i couldn't take it seriously me personally About mgk <laughs> and megan fox well done bro <laughs> there are people saying that machine gun kelly's designer may have lifted some ideas from japanese breakfast's jubilee a grammy mm. nominated album i disagree wow. with them i do yeah, i Floating don't think there's no way not trademarked yeah, by any means yeah. there's just no that way being said though i do love this album cover yeah, yeah this, this is, is cool because guess what we I haven't got seen here? it before uh flip and focus so yeah she's it. in focus yeah the, the ones in the background are more in focus than the ones in the foreground right <laughs> you can tell they're hanging Yes. You know, there's actually a web of string kind of like in the oh, floor. I actually have a song like from this album. I thought it looked kind of familiar, but I don't want to lie. But yeah, I do have. Okay, so I have seen so it. I really like that. Yes, yeah, about the coloring of this one too feels vintage. Like it feels like of an era or something mm -hmm. like something you pull out of a photo album. And this album very much has this color, like sonically, mm. it feels like this golden color. I think it's a B. Mm. Yeah, I think it's a B. I think it's, it's a B. That's, that's fair. That's a B. But it is a very nice album. Cover. And it just works. Yeah. Very efficient. All right. Now, this one has been requested many times. This is Man on the Moon 3, mm. Kid Cudi. We've talked about it in other videos, but I love we this cover. It on so much and not even because i love the album like before i listen to the album i love this cover i gotta give this a plus maybe even s honestly i think for the man on the moon series it's a little off the colors are slightly different than some of the other covers i think those are a little bit more orange but also since this is like newer he's in a different place it's like it makes sense that they the colors have changed slightly you know but i think this is such a hard cover and it fits the aesthetic of the album because some of them are like lit and kind of shades to the point and then others of them are like darker and more you have like deeper lyrics and things like that you know it fits very well not gonna lie this is an s or an a plus your list yet i know a lot of people love this album cover i so personally hard. do not like it yeah i have a hard time in my non-artist brain like pinpointing what i don't like about it but it 
It's not like a welcoming album cover to me. I think it's mm. the split down the middle paired with the kind of uh, stoner poster thing, mm. the college art fair. I think we've said this about other album covers before, but it does feel a little bit like it fits too much in that vein. Yeah, mm. I'm not saying it's a bad painting because it's not. I'm sure this, yeah. like, this artist makes great work, but... It just doesn't feel very unique to me. Yeah, it's just like, I think a better cover that's kind of similar in ways from that same time is uh, Punk by Young Thug. That cover is amazing, but that artist is just has one of the craziest styles I've ever seen. Can't, excuse me, can't think of their name right now, but it's all over. There's yeah. no like blank space. I love when like uh, album cover is like just strong and like minimum. I mean, I understand it's supposed to tie in with the other two as well. I don't know. It just color palette is nice, but overall, I think the cover itself does not do anything for me. To me, this, is, fair. this might be a D. I, let's. We got an empty slot right there. All right, Parker. Interestingly enough, the next one is Punisher by Phoebe Bridgers, who okay. was featured on Man on the Moon Three. How about Ooh, that? That's the first song now, I ever heard of her. Awesome. Yeah, that's great. Perfect. Perfect. The color palette is so, so interesting. This looks like a movie poster. Like it's supposed to be like night vision or it's like brake lights are lighting yeah, it. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, Low I key. love the division of the red and blue with like the silhouette of these rock croppings that kind of look like Joshua Tree or somewhere in the California desert. Yeah. Mm. Three tier photo. Yeah, and I also feel like it's one of those ones you can mimic that didn't feel forced in that way. Yeah, like really. anybody who gets this color palette on something is going to be like, oh, it's a Punisher thing. Yeah. You know, but mm. it wasn't so forced where it feels like it's like the 2C slide or something. Sure. Where you're like, <laughs> trying, to, yeah. you know, trying to make people take pictures with red at the bottom and blue at the top. Yeah. Like it's not, it doesn't yeah. feel corny or forced no. mimicry. It feels know? all very natural. And it is just cool that it's, she's so small in the photograph mm. wearing her signature skeleton costume mm -hmm. and just like looking up. This one's pretty perfect. I think this is an S. I think it's an A. I don't know. I just I think haven't listened to this, so I feel like I can't have much of an opinion on it because I don't really know where like where this goes at all it, it doesn't have anything that really i'm gonna get in there at some point like apart from everything else it just feels like it's a, a nice album cover. i'm a boy like, genius the big, disser. the big disser yeah the constellation <laughs> the big disser the big disser yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the big dipper no because it's like the mouth of a guy who's like dissing you Really? Oh. Yeah, that's what the Aztec said. It's the big disser. Loser. <laughs> Stupid. It's just stuff like that. Yo. Oh, the little dipper. The little disser? The little disser. <laughs> really? He's got to be yelling back up at the big guy. What the oh. hell? They're kind of like, fuck you. And he's like, shut up, man. You know what I mean? Mm. It's a classic back and forth between the stars. Man, this Real. really makes me question what I know about the stars. I mean... It's Orion's BB belt, right? Oh, yeah. You can't miss that one. That one's... <laughs> Bing. All right. That's how I with it. The college dropout. Kanye yeah. West. Ooh. Genius. <laughs> Very much talked about right now because of that. I can't... I can't be biased here. And I think late registration is a much better cover. So I'm going to give this an A. But this is one of my personal favorite covers just ever. Gotcha. So hard. Absolutely. And we've ranked a lot of other Kanye albums in our other tier list. So <laughs> really? here we go. I can only do like Cootie's voice in my head now. When <laughs> oh, I see yeah. Kanye. And then Kanye got to meet. It's a classic Dash. bit. But Dame Dash wasn't fucking with Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jay Z started fucking with Kanye. <laughs> this is classic early 2000s, like border framework, oh, like yeah. digital framing. Yeah, you know? it's trying to do the whole like Renaissance thing. Mm -hmm. right? it's, it's new, it's funny with the white border. Yeah. Cause sometimes yeah. you get the burgundy border too. Mm -hmm. There's like the two versions of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it hasn't aged all that well, but it feels it classic hasn't. the same way it, a it lot is. of Kanye's outfits from this era. Yep. Oh, yeah. Like, it hasn't aged all that well, but you see it and you're like, oh, man, that was that time. Yep. Exactly. You know, he's really, he always kind of is emblematic of the time that he's creating in. Yeah, that's true. And this photo is cool. And again, like, uh, the willingness to embody the mascot or, like, step into the character. Yeah. Literally. Always adds, like, something kind of special to the album artwork. It brings it into, like, a different life. I will say the parental advisory is just... <laughs> <laughs> in the worst spot. I mean, it is. What are you doing? It it's really is. The frame. Yeah. <laughs> Get it out of there. Yeah. It doesn't have to be that big. No. I think at that time, people weren't so like, they didn't think about incorporating that into the art. They just knew they had to put it there. So they just put it there. And then also on CDs, it's like perfectly in the corner. You know, it was like, I guess, but I'm glad that we've come a long way with that now to where that sticker kind of, you know, with a lot of artwork, it really 
goes into the art instead of just being something that's thrown on top of it. Move it. I'm trying to think of an example. <laughs> you know? I will say, though, these blue jeans are banging. <laughs> I love a good pair of denim, and those look sturdy. And to just see Kanye's persona thriving this way is just so cool, you know? <laughs> you know, this is another one. I think it's an A. It's definitely not. Honestly, this right here is, you know more modern cover that's been kind of you know it's been talked about a lot of people aren't feeling this but i think with this style of cover like you could hide this anywhere and it just fits perfectly you know i think stuff like that really works well or even you know j cole's mightily later like just that that color it's very subtle it's kind of wavy but like you know what it is though you know, I feel like that works. A lot of people were not thinking that hard in the early 2000s, which sucks, but you know. Definitely not an S. I, I, I think it's kind of a B, too. All right, let's put it at a B for the parental advisory. Yes, alone. there is Fair. a glaring mistake. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's so iconic, you know. Some reason I always picture that bear head just stinking. Did you know in high school, right as I graduated, I stole the baritone sax from the band room? You stole the baritone sax from school? From school and sold it for 4K. <laughs> well, my mom finessed it, too. My mom helped me sell it for 4K. Wait. Stole a berry sax. This is real. Yeah. A baritone sax is about yay big. I and was going to say. It needs to, like, it has a stand for the ground. So you can, like, like it's a really horrific <laughs> instrument. Did you play the baritone sax? No. <laughs> so you just stole <laughs> an instrument bad. you didn't play. Yeah. Great Andrew instrument, not going to lie. High school. Yes. And I needed help carrying it because it's so large. I'm still trying and to find another example. Truck. She had already graduated. She kind of like hung around the schoolyard doing burnouts and smoking cigs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like, what's up, losers? Your, your sister's fucking sick. Yeah. Anyway. One thing so too, a lot of people lately just it. haven't been putting that sticker on albums at all. Like most of these covers that I have saved from pretty recently, there's no sticker here in the back of her truck and we took it kind of as a last ditch revenge against mrs bing the band teacher was super mean okay when we told my mom or when she found out she's like what's this giant horn doing in here and we explained it to her i thought we were going to be in trouble she's like how much is it worth and i was like i don't know they're selling online for like three four thousand dollars and she was like put it up there and so we sold it and then that we used that money to like pay for a graduation party type deal if you ever Real. wonder why your public school's music department is like lacking in funding it's because of dirt bags like me and, and, my sister. and your mom. that explains a lot we were poor too so yeah. four g's was like tax season <laughs> twice in one year <laughs> anyway uh all right here we go now that's now what that's i call what music I call 69 music 69 nice hold up this is beautiful. <laughs> Loki, it looks like I was a party. This and I was like, they've been making these for goddamn forever. I looked back at some of the early ones. They've always looked like they're from the future. They're pretty Loki. good. They're like bad good. Yeah. It's like it's yeah. like somebody who's really good at making stock graphic assets. Literally. You know? but it's just supposed to look like colors, like nothing. <laughs> like it's not like they're making a physical thing. Like let's put fireworks through a thousand filters. Yeah. <laughs> through a bunch of different colors and put this like chunky 3D graphic in the middle every single time. Let's take every image from the Hubble's, Hubble telescope and just put it through a pot. <laughs> so I like yo. the 69 though. I yeah, mean, hey, absolutely. That's, that's nice. I like that too. Sick. We, 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 we. Shout out to Gavin, who's Gavin Spees, who sent this in. And shout out nice. Sucking and Fucking. Yeah, Sucking and Fucking. Nice. Is cool. <laughs> this is kind of lit. Yeah, this one's cool. This is an S for me. And Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yes, it's crazy. This is a B. No. This is a B. Just because the number alone. Um, I wanted to B. put it at a C. Yeah. So let's put it at a... An S. An okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to get an S. All right, now Yo. 69. Because I'm here next to Dawn FM by the weekend. <laughs> right, I mean, pretty that much. That is crazy. And, uh, don't worry, we're not done with these. Okay. We got, now that's what I call Xmas. <laughs> Spider for Xmas. Spider for Xmas. Spider for this one, Xmas. If that Spider one was the B, this, no, this one's a C. Bad. Yeah, this one is bad because it's just it's like stupid flat, like Kroger greeting card section yeah. graphics in the background with like yeah. the, the terrible rip with like the bad drop shadow. Uh -huh. I do like that it's reflective wrapping paper though. Yeah, I like that too. A little foil aspect, but the stars are really bad. Think about this when you open presents and you get to see yourself in the present mm. a little bit. That's cool. Because it's not often you see yourself in the present. I always see myself in the past or in the future. Ooh, oh, right. that's fair. a gift on Christmas. Really? Uh -uh. Never gotten a gift in my life from anyone. I only give. That's kind of my thing. Mm. I just give and give and give and give, 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 give. I keep giving. Getting that nah, riddles me with guilt because I've already been given so much. Mm. You just said you've never been given anything. I've been given life mm. that's that's an abundance of presents i'll never even 
I won't even get around to opening all the gifts he's bestowed upon me under this tree of life. Mm. Uh, this is a big D ball. D ball. Okay. It's a D yeah, ball. D, sure. Beer bongs and Bentleys by Post Malone. <laughs> yeah. This I one. I remember really liking this one when it came out. Uh, this one, I don't know. It's cool. For me, I think this deep into, you know, where we're at with music and streaming. The CD thing is kind of like, I don't know, like we use this. That was like, OK, we're done with CDs, sayonara kind of thing. Whereas this is like, I don't know, but I didn't listen to the album, so I don't know if that vibe goes with this. I think a cover like this would be perfect for Tisa Koreans. Let me update my status. Um, not that that cover is not perfect, but, you know, I think this would fit that more. I didn't listen to this full album, though, so I don't know. And then. Like this, this type of, I don't know how I feel about this right here. Barbara, that's kind of his thing. So like that makes sense, I guess it fits in. But overall, I don't love this cover. I do like the color, though. The color is great. The album or the cover? The cover. Mm. See, to me, this <laughs> this seems like somebody took Yeezus and Fast and Furious and said, See, there you go. That. Yeah, and kind of that, like that's KTM good. Racing, the, <laughs> yeah. the Supercross yeah. team. Mm-hmm. I hate this idea. Like, why does he always have this barbed wire thing on all of his stuff? Like, he, I understand he has that tattoo across he his He literally has a tattoo on him. Like, He's like a bad boy. Yeah, I don't know. This is not <laughs> sell it for me. This is like, this honestly looks like a concept album cover that one of those graphic design accounts on Instagram would post yeah. where they take like a really famous album cover and just take the color palette and then make like some really graphic design school type of type all over it. It's like yeah. kind of Swiss, but plays with new typefaces. I hate this one. Like to me, it's well, not that bro. offensive. Yeah, I don't. It's know. not that Anything bad, but it's just not great. It has to be so good because Jesus did that. And yeah, it's an F for me, but you can drag it wherever you'd like. It's not worth dragging it up for me. Throw it in the gutter. All right, bro. let's go. <laughs> Next, we've got "Shut the Fuck Up Talking to Me" by oh, Zach S. Fox. <laughs> now we've had a lot of this right here. This cover, I think symbolizes that like that feeling that you get when you listen to that project like you're just barefoot you just ate some chicken bro you in the trenches though you feel me so you you had a stress day so you gotta you know you gotta smoke but you don't like smoking so you just want to have the the fumes of the cigarette going so you got it on your foot for real you a little ashy you know, is that vibe? A good photos already in this list, but in terms of concept and composition and just overall beauty and Great artistic image. prowess, this one stands above them all. With the cigarette in between the, <laughs> mm-hmm. the thumb toe and the pointer toe, is yeah, that what we call it? The them? pointer toe, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so weird because it the cigarette looks so natural there that I I believe that this is not the first time he's held a stogie there. Uh me I don't show feet for free. That's really my only Yeah, kind of that's world. that's fair. Okay. I think it would be better if, if they were blurred that would probably add to it even more but i think that wouldn't push the anti-capitalist message that is mexico by zach fox on that project um so the obligation to this you know, cover? like otherwise it's a perfect s for me but i mean listen show bro. feet for free is just seems a little you know yeah, it seems a little slut. It's against my code. It's a little slut. Yeah. <laughs> I do love that this kind of just captures like a candid moment that is so common to all of us. Mm-hmm. But you never see it really photographed yeah. this way. Mm, you, know? yeah. you don't. Like we've all been smoking a cigarette out of our toes right. over a plate of chicken wings on the kitchen floor. It's like mm-hmm. uh, when you're eating spaghetti in the bathroom, popping your zits while your wife's in the shower. Or it's like when you take the cap off your toothpaste, you cut it off with scissors, and you refill it with barbecue sauce, then glue it back <laughs> on, yeah. and then you put that onto a toothpaste brush and wipe that onto a nerd's rope and then you kind of mm. suck that down <laughs> this is an a an a wow for me chicken bones and beer is an a. will make people's hair stand up yeah people mm. hate this one. yeah that's an a though next we've got Ooh. wise blood's titanic rising i mean we could talk about this one for 30 minutes oh my gosh this, I read i've it. never heard of this never seen this before this is hard though i'm not gonna lie I don't even know what's going on here, man. But I think that's the feeling that you're supposed to get to where it's like, what's happening? Maybe. I don't know. I haven't listened to this. But off first glance, I'm going to get it as an A. An article when it came out about how it was done, but then I revisited that yesterday. And it's, it's really interesting. It was taken in an actual pool. What's this called again? This one for 30 minutes. Bones and bare feet will make people's hair stand up. Yeah, people hate this one. Yeah. That's an A, though. Next, we've got... 
Wise Blood's Titanic Rising. I mean, we could talk about this one for 30 minutes. Oh my gosh. I read an article when it came out about how it was done, but then I revisited that yesterday. And it's, it's really interesting. It was taken in an actual pool. Yeah. So they went down and built this room right. down in the pool and then had her go in and then took all of the photos underwater. It is phenomenal. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's it sick. unbelievable. Every time I see it, I'm like, they really did that. Yeah. It's just insane. One of the best album covers I've ever seen, not yeah. even just in our tier list or anything like period that I've ever seen. Everything being able to stick down there with the inevitable like gravity of the yeah, water yeah. that's pulling everything, like pulling the hair, pulling the curtains, getting the light it's to shine that way yeah. in there, seeing the top of the water there as the mm -hmm. ceiling. It's just a prime example too of getting all your effects to fall just in the photo. Yes. Mm. You know, like you don't have to do anything really to this. Once it's done, it's just everything happened in that moment and you captured it and there's such a good feeling about that. Oh yeah. This is the easiest ass we're gonna give out Probably ever. Yeah, the yeah. teddy bear is such a good yeah. detail too. <laughs> Just sitting on the bed that way. I think Next. if I Cashews. if I knew the album, I would be able to, you know, really appreciate that more. This I love these styles of cover. This is so hard. Rainbow. Now, this one was done by the artist Robert Beatty. Okay. Who is famous for doing Tame and Paula's Currents. That makes sense. Ah, as well there as we albums go. uh by the Flaming Lips and uh working closely with One O Tricks Point Never. Yep. This album cover always really wowed me when I first saw it, not only because it was such a change for Kesha, but it's just such like a surrealist take. Yeah. yeah. It's like an actual piece of work. With it actually really a is. in the middle. Yeah. So you saw a lot of collage work get popular on Instagram the past decade or whatever. This feels like it's a step past that. It's playing with really surrealist, droopy This Honestly, I don't, something. I haven't heard any music from this album, but this right here, just seeing this, like I would hope that the album itself musically fits this because this is so hard. Literally, yeah, that it like it really feels like uh, like Dolly. I was gonna say Dolly esque, mm -hmm. and the perspective's mm. awesome. It's like the walking down the tunnel towards the bright light. It does have that mm. center focal point where both sides lead to the middle, but also yeah. her gaze is down the middle, and yep. then you've got that flying saucer type. 3D texture that points to the middle as well. Like yeah. everything leads to that middle yeah. one, which I think is just a really good design choice. Mm -hmm. It and is. The eyeball reminds me of the beginning of Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. There was a company with the eyeball. Yeah. You remember what mm. it was? Yeah, like skates into the middle and yeah. then it's like, wow. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. And if That's you can crazy. remember what that is, put it down in the comments and I'll send you a praying mantis in the mail. <laughs> mm. Um, Yeah, this is an A to me. All right, yeah, it's a good A for me. Good A for me. The good A, <laughs> hey, mister. All right, next we've got a turtleneck and chain by the Lonely Island. Turtleneck and chain. This <laughs> pack right there. This look like me, you, and Grant on any given <laughs> weekend. <laughs> 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 we need to recreate this. Oh, no, oh, okay. That would be so fun. Easy. And we can recreate no, about the this. box music. What is it from? Rat. Yeah, for sure. Dude, I actually like legitimately love this cover. I like it. Like, I feel like this I'd is playing a on old band photos. Yeah. Like that you That's what I'm thinking. Friends, like some uh -huh. whatever. It's just so corny in the in the coolest way though. Yeah. I mean See, it 2011, like I love this. Now that I know when this is from, this was from like 2020, I'd be like, okay, bro, what are we doing here? But 2011, I mean, bro, this is the perfect time for something like this. This feature list is insane. This is probably a great album, too. I mean, dude, them boys are chilling, bro. Like like an Oasis cover or something from like the 90s. This is like one of the greatest covers, you know, in the last days before Instagram, when people would just post their cover on Instagram, you know? Brit like pop, Brit yeah. pop, like kind of sexy, like eloquent white guys with shaggy hair. <laughs> I love that mm -hmm. they're supposed to look cool in like the fake way. Like yeah. they yeah. always really pulled off like, like, no, I'm gonna look this way, like that, yeah. but as mm. a joke, you yeah. know? Like, they're supposed to be suave as a joke, mm -hmm. which yeah. I always love when you can pull that off, especially because, like, Andy Samberg, it's so funny because I grew up as a fan of him, just thought he was really funny on yeah. SNL and Real. stuff. And then, like, as I got older, I realized I was like, he's a really good looking guy. Yeah. But he doesn't play, he plays up his funny so much that you don't even really notice it. Right. You know? That's fair. But it also helps his comedy, too. Yeah. It does. Everybody wants to laugh at a good looking guy. Yeah. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> They're laughing with you, buddy. <laughs> They're laughing with you, buddy. They're not laughing at you. It's like fucking Ted Bundy or something dressed up like a clown. Okay, well, you do have Yo. a lot of similarities with Ted Bundy. I mean, John Wayne oh. Casey, the clown murderer. Whichever one he was, that's what I feel like. 
because of all the can you eat children that's a, that's just <laughs> hey you're not just your good looks and your crimes okay you're more than that then you did this one <laughs> I did a lot of a's in a row but i'm down next we've got Grail. turnstiles glow yeah. on now i feel like this one's this right great i mean i love album this covers is great like this. Oh, and so i good. i know a lot of the projects too this fits very well this is just it's amazing minimal it's just it's it like i love a minimal cover yeah. house, you know what i mean <laughs> it's, like, mm -hmm. it's, light, it's this light pink the looks clouds nostalgic are too. pinkish white oh it is so so nice it's got the grain to it mm -hmm. it just feels like the album like yeah you know, the same way I really liked um, Death Heaven Sunbather. That's yep. my favorite album cover of all time, maybe. It's that it's an album that you wouldn't think would be a pink album cover. But mm. then when you listen to it, you're like, that totally fits. Yep. And it does. I also feel like with the like the pink as kind of the doorway into the house yeah. that is the album, it sets a bit of a different mood than if you chose the obvious, like big black, you know, heavy door. Mm. Hardcore. This is like a nice soft opening into it. And it makes you kind of, it changes your perspective on the music a little bit in the, in the right way. Yeah. It makes you focus on the dream pop elements mm -hmm. and those things that make it really pretty. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that then it's very palatable to the person who's not used to the heavier aspects of the album. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And as I'm like looking at you out of my peripheral, peripheral it doesn't look like anything you know what i mean it just Literally. looks like there's a blank screen. on this screen because i have like i changed my settings for this particular monitor now that i'm paused i can see the whole thing but when I unpause, I can't see anything below right here. Literally only in OBS can I see that. And even still right now, I can't see all the detail. Like it looks normal on this monitor because, you know, I don't have the same settings on it, but it's crazy, which I feel like even adds to it even more because it's like, you know, it's just very subtle. Just like, hey, man, we're over here, but we're not bothering you air there yeah. which i think is really cool too because you have to it makes you focus on it too it's awesome we'd love to have this on a record you know yeah I, it totally feels like a vinyl yeah. thing yeah. Oh, yeah i think it's an s yeah i think it's so too. that's pink done right machine gun kelly <laughs> you fucking hack next we've got swimming by mac Ooh. miller i really like this one too yeah me too very simple. i like this one when i first saw it i'm not gonna lie before i even heard anything off of it i really like this cover very beautiful it has like a weird surrealist thing to it to me this is how i've always perceived it is some sort Sort of like locker on the plane yeah that's how i see it too mm -hmm. it's like a doorway yeah. into a plane that you can't see the body of but like you can see out the plane window yeah yeah there's something familiar about it that your brain does yeah but then when you really start to think about it you're like what am i looking at yeah, you know? yeah. it's dreamlike in that way where yeah. it's like familiar feels like you've been there but none of it makes sense yeah or that all the things that you've been there in a dream are like eliminated like he's obviously sitting on a floor and his feet are on something but we've deleted that and it's just this blank white space he's got his eyes closed he's got mm. this very unique expression on his face he's got dirty feet <laughs> which again Quentin I have a moral objection that, to showing feet for free on an album yeah. cover, but i'll let it slide here yeah at least it's the dirty bottoms which are by far the most attractive part of any foot <laughs> or like mm. kind of the household grit and crust and dust right. yeah yeah everybody mm. thinks <laughs> yeah we've all seen the image of sonic i mean yeah i love when you knock that crust off on a bed and then you lay in the bed and kind of take a nap with it. You know what I mean? I think this oh. is an S. I think so too. Next, we've got That's fair. Bony Vare's 22 a million, which to me reads like some sort of alphabet for a plague vendor in like 1650. <laughs> it's funny, I, when I was looking for, uh, what's it called, parental advisory stickers just now, I saw this Ed Sheeran cover um, Autumn Variations, and it's, you know, kind of a similar vibe. And I like these styles of covers. Now, this one I haven't looked at in detail at all, but I feel like these kinds of covers are cool. And I have seen this cover before. Probably also haven't looked super in detail, but it's interesting. That's for sure. Definitely. I like covers that catch your attention. You know, this definitely catches your attention. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say is this is like Scandinavian pagan. But not like in a gimmicky vibe. way. It's almost like runic alphabet. Yeah, I honestly am kind of hesitant to support this because I feel like it could say something super fucked up and I just wouldn't know. <laughs> Nicholas Cage Real. actually stars in a movie about decoding this. <laughs> Comes out soon. It's yeah. Bon Iver. It's Bon Iver. <laughs> um yeah, this is messy, but I don't like the colors. I wish it was all black and white, I guess. If that's I fair. Have one critique, but that's it's a fair just point. really all over the place for me. I like it. it. It's just like a B for me though. I really do like the symbolism and I I think the color is really nice too. Yeah. Uh, I usually don't like colors clashing this way, but I don't know. There's something about it. Hey, you're the professional man. Oh. Um, Settle at a B. I was thinking C, so let's put it at C. Hey, you favorite? C is valid. Get it, put it up B for yourself. You sure? Yeah. 
Eh? We've got Cry Baby by Lil Peep. Ooh. Now, I am a huge Lil Peep Our, fan. Yes. People are not going to like what I have to say about this album cover. Yeah. If it weren't a Lil Peep album cover, I think my critique would go over a lot better. Because to mm. me, this is just like kind of a sloppy first tattoo design. Yeah. I was about to say, it has that vibe and it reminds me of like kind of late 80s, early 90s, like that grunge vibe, you know? And it's just like very like yeah, it looks that way and I don't care kind of thing, which I really love. But then also nostalgia's kind of taken over for me here. I just really, really love this cover. Something. That's exactly you know what, what I, mean? I was thinking. It's like someone trying to do like the old sailor style of tattoo or something. Yeah. You know what I, mean? I don't know. Like American what? traditional. American yeah. traditional style of tattoo, but done rather poorly and yeah. on like a digital sketch pad. Yeah. yeah it's like somebody who is halfway between their scrapbooking phase and their tattoo phase. Yeah. And that's mm. okay. I do think it also fits the music really well. Like, it it does. like somebody made fan art for Lil Peep and then he used it. Low key, yeah. And mm. that was a huge part of Lil Peep's thing too was posting a ton of fan art that people made for him and uh, blah 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 but it's just you know it is sloppy and kind of poorly done so i don't know and uh, there are tons of people out there with tattoos of this on them i know i would sure. get that tattooed and Honestly, no hate against any of them people wanted us to do this one i just think it's it's a pretty poor album cover i do too for me it falls like d yeah it's a d that's fair it's not an f i give it a c or b with lust be at best recently my pastor told me i need to run away from temptations of the flesh Mm. Problem is, I really don't like to be chased. <laughs> All right, so this is LP by JPEG Mafia. Okay. okay. There are two album covers for this one. We're going to get into the offline, offline version okay. next. But, about to pull up uh, offline. Yeah, this is the main album cover. This one's really intense. I, I like, like this right here. Like envelops. Are there two body. offline covers yeah, actually? Honestly, I haven't taken a close look at this album cover, so I didn't realize that he was hugging. Because there's. When I first saw it, I didn't know he was hugging someone either. I do like this offline cover, the one that we got on streaming, but I think the one that's like actually offline on YouTube is a much better cover for offline. It's so sick. I really love that cover, but this one right here is pretty hard. Being a person. Oh, neither did I till just now. Like I didn't notice that. I didn't at know all. that was like the tenth time I looked at it. I'm like, oh, yeah. Right on the front, and the smoke does make it harder to see. Yeah. But now I'm seeing that he's hugging a person. Yeah. How about that? Wish you hugged me like that. I do hug you all the time, and yeah, you always man. push me away. <laughs> this feels like something from our disposable role. <laughs> yeah. Really. Like, it has that same kind of quality to it. It feels like a nighttime photo with the disposable flash. I I do like it. I don't love it. There's nothing yeah. that like makes it. I love the album, but it's not my this favorite Peggy cover. So good. Yeah, and I uh, wish it had something that was a little bit more like intentional to it. Yeah, mm. it is all very cryptic, and some details that, like we just said, we're still discovering by taking a yeah. closer look at it. But I do like it. Yeah, I think it's a B. Yeah, the offline yeah, version. Yeah, now this, yeah, this offline like version is tough. And that's what I'm saying. This, this is hard. Is so this one is such a striking image to me. Mm -hmm. You've got it the is. closed eyes photo again. You've got kind of the disposable flash thing on there. The liquor store, and then mm -hmm. again you have a person who I didn't realize was behind yeah. him on his shoulder. Shoulder, kind yeah. of peeking uh, through there. Yeah, and the liquor store is closed, so you know it's late, late. Mm -hmm. like, you yeah. can feel that mood, like in the darkness around everything. The Literally. other one feels which a fits bit, the like, sound of the album, and this yeah. gives it like enough of a. There's a perspective shift. There's yeah. like that little movement to it, you know. This one's really good. I think this is an A. Yeah, this is an A. Yeah, That's I real. always love this image. I kind of wish that was the. Uh, I give the other one B, official. and maybe this one S. Yeah. Next, we got one of your favorites, Punk Two by Break It. I love okay. this record, but I don't have a ton of good things to say about this cover. Yeah, I, I understand what this cover was trying to do. The colors. And, but again, it feels very graphic design school to me. Uh -huh. It feels very much like someone playing with paneling and playing with where the type should go. And let me flip this on its side. Let me try this out. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like the way the borders sit. I do think mm. it does a great thing with, with color palette. Yes. Um, because yeah, the music insane. feels like this this, these fall, these yeah, autumn like autumn. Uh -huh. the, the oranges, the yellows, the browns, that feels like break and Which music, is a great time of year. Era. But I don't think that the design that went past the photograph and color palette does too much for him. Yeah, I agree. I do kind of appreciate like the resurgence here of like the 70s type. Me yep, too, you know? Yep. Like, for some reason that works in this context of break. It's carrying like, it's not, this for me. The most psychedelic that and the colors. Or something, but that 70s fine. Yeah, I, I don't think I know, think I know any songs off of this me feel a certain I have way, a save though I know like that nostalgic or something yeah that choice that design choice is like kudos to the designer yeah. whoever did it it might have been breaking himself I don't actually know enough about um who does the covers but it feels like such an odd choice yeah that I'm like that that is a smart one though it's a risk no nah, I don't know this because song now people think of this right 
and recontextualize that yeah. 70s psychedelic type and, with something that isn't anything like it. And that's what's like cool about it to me, because if this was psych rock yeah. and you use that text, that's the first thing I'm going to point out as being corny. But since it's an mm. entirely different genre, and like you said, recontextualizing old familiar design is really cool. Yeah. That, that's sweet. Yeah, I'm that's somewhere real. between a B and a C for this one. Do you want to flip a dollar bill for it? Flip a dollar bill. You never flipped a dollar bill. Heads, yeah. heads it's a B, C um, is t tails, or the Illuminati symbol, ready? Yep. Heads, it's a B. Okay. Nice. Fair is fair. Sure. That's how the last president was decided. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we got Yeet. Up to Up me. Up to me, Yeet. Wow, oh, this, this is just... <laughs> <laughs> See, I saw a lot of people praising this cover, and I, is... um, I respect the designer who made this, but I do not like this cover. It feels like trying to recapture the, worst the, Yeet cover. the rodeo thing. Yeah, yeah, or something like so the three action figure sort of thing. You uh -huh. got the two, the two pints on either side. Well, like, I say the lean is crazy. Black. You've got the the sh the big chunky shoes. And yeah, the yeah. Up to me, like metallic like balloon. balloon type yeah, I absolutely cannot stand. That's that. my least favorite thing going yeah, it's on. Like uh, the rental advisory being in the in like the three D space is not bad. I don't hate that. I just don't think cool. this is going to age well. And it's take, not. It hasn't. It's music well, especially yeah. so we'll considering see. Yeah, how how much better Yeats music and covers have gotten is just like, dude. This one's an F. This ain't it. I think it's gotta be. That's Next true. we got Stranger by Young Lean. Now this Ooh, is a beautiful photo. That's hard. So this got sent in on Twitter, but I also have been thinking about this cover more because there's a meme this going around dealer. of Drake from Nothing Was The Same photoshopped into Young Lean's <laughs> spot on there. She's like, it's the profile yeah. photo. So yeah. that's really funny. Um, This is kind of a crazy one. It has that cave painting have a song liked, on but the right side that almost read to me as like flying bats when yeah. I first saw it, as well as the shadows on the first one reading like flying bats. Like everything mm. feels like it's enveloped in bats. Yeah, or Real. like he's almost ducking out of the way and a bunch of bats have just flown up in front of him and someone snapped the picture. Yeah, it's a really, really interesting photograph paired with graphics here. The cave painting graphics are kind of taken away from me. I would just like this more as a photo, but that's, that's fair. That's a very fair point. I think that's fair for sure. I don't know. I think this sits more as like a, it's like a B or a C to me. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I think a C is good here. I think this is better than the Breakins cover, though. I That's think like B. we should put this at a B and put Breakins at C. Agreed. We never do the changes halfway through, but that's what we're doing. Yeah. Hey, really? little whoopsie doopsie. It happens all the time. It'd be like right, that next sometimes. Next, we've got Pink Ooh, Panthers is to Hell with Love this cover love so this much. Cover. Oh, this is this an S. Is crazy. That's yeah, an this S. This looks like the cover, like if you put big, like old paperback novels and this too, that would be sold at like- Kind of, it, it doesn't really remind me too much of this cover, but hold on, I gotta pull this up, bruh. What's the name of the album? Heart Shaped Bed. It's literally not super similar, but it gives me the same kind of vibe as Heart Shaped Bed by Nicole Dollinganger, which I gotta listen to this whole album. I discovered this randomly looking for samples on YouTube one day, and bro. This cover is so sick. I just love this style of art. And I feel like even though this is obviously a picture and not, you know, drawn art, it kind of has like a similar, like, I don't know, classic. I don't know design, honestly, but that's like a classical vibe. I feel like that we haven't seen in a while in general with art, but especially with albums. The pharmacy. Yeah. Text on the left side, like the night the girls bled or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, it feels to me like it's an 80s Spielberg movie yeah. or something, you know? Okay. It has that weird, like, deep drama to it. Mm -hmm. There's just so much drama, but so in, like, well a really too. cool way. Yeah, and it doesn't feel like she's necessarily scared. You know what I mean? No, yeah. it seems like she's, like, the lead in this scary, the spooky story or something. She's more thinking. She's, yeah. like, thinking of what to do. How do I expel these ghosts from my soul? <laughs> it's just mm. the angle, the house. This looks like something that would be in Jennifer's room from Jennifer's body. The Low fence, key. Like, everything about it just reads so perfect and yeah. dramatic and like it's a, a screenshot from a great movie. You know? Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. I think this That's is fair. Nice. That's Next, nice. Luca Tronchic by Baby Tron. <laughs> this one's beautiful too. <laughs> Do you think so? I think it's beautiful, but... I think this would be perfect if he wasn't on it. I think if they didn't Photoshop his face into it, this would be so hard. Uh, but it just, I don't know, it makes, it cheapens it for me. This, this could have been an S. But unfortunately, it's a D.
it just is but i love the signature like that's hard you didn't need there's to a lot of things i like about it vertically but... on the left side and it's too big over there they almost yeah. did like the old ps2 game kind yeah of see i absolutely hate this cover dude I, <laughs> the signature no 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 <laughs> signature i love tough, baby tron i'm but... a huge fan of this project this is probably my favorite project front to back his head's too big his yeah. head's too big yeah. it's like looks like you photoshopped him onto a luca photo. if that's not what happened i mean obviously this is uh, Jerry West, but still, though, I feel like it still is photos like that's and then painted over that. Right. Put Baby Tron on it. You've got like the grainy look. He's playing on a chess chess board. <laughs> that's different crazy. colors. It's like purple and green. The parental advisory like sitting on top of the border. Blocking yeah, the it's in the border. Yeah, the that's lab a logo terrible placement. Twice on it. Yep. <laughs> Once in the bottom right, breaking that border. Yeah. My favorite thing about it is the type the on, the, on the left. Because <laughs> that feels like an old yeah. basketball card. Although it's right okay in, it feels really stubby yeah like he's like a, like a little t-rex arm kind of dribbling mm. there well his legs look so short like it's strange it's this the stature of it like it feels like a bad photoshop cover that then got painted from a design Real. standpoint i i can't i can't go it's enough i think we go d with it because they did do Dear enough F. to build it up from what it would be of just a photoshopped True. photo you know like, it, there's effort here but yeah. i don't like this cover okay we've got nurture by porter Ooh. robinson i might just be like a little sick fuck for photos or something but i this one is this is crazy money. Oh, yeah. It's I have no so idea what this sounds like, but I bet it sounds, sounds like this. Face down in this bed of flowers. I'm just getting put on exhausted. albums right now. I'm not gonna it lie. feels candid. It's, it's beautiful. I love this cover. I've only heard this album one time, but I agree. I mean, I... I loved this cover before I heard the album. It's just one I'm of those. I'm lying. Fun. Once again, I have a song. So I've actually, this is probably in a playlist of songs that I need to listen to. Yeah, yeah. This is literally in a playlist of songs I gotta listen to, so that makes sense. So it's like if you're a photographer and this ends up on your role, you're like, wow. Yeah. I just yeah. got one. You know, it has yeah. a feeling. You know? Also for, for sure. someone who's like historically made and obviously this album is too electronic music. Yeah. But this album is a big like pivot into mm. more of like an emotional space. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that. An organic album. I imagined it to be like emotional electronic. electronic music i think that adds like another depth to it as well yeah existing in nature is like it helps mm. electronic music feel real right you know? exactly real. instead yeah. of some crazy cosmic you know digital design yeah this is like you can almost feel the grass on yourself too yeah Low key. I mean, it's so beautiful yeah s tier for me s. s for me all right now we've got ants from up there by black country new road i've never seen this one. i'm telling this you is maybe I my saw, favorite album of the year i saw this cover because of them talking about it and this is such a hard cover still haven't listened to it yet though uh you know i'm listening to music like that i ain't gonna lie bro i like because i listen to so much music i just added so much stuff to my current rotation it's like actually absurd how long it is and i just listened to two albums yesterday so uh yeah my current rotation is 99 hours long it's normally around like 60 to 70 but I've been listening to so much new music lately that it's just, yeah, it's OD. So, yeah, I kind of don't love listening to new music um, because then I don't get to live with it as long because then there's just so much. So I can't go back to things as often. And I don't listen to albums too often. There's certain albums that I will go back and listen to, but for the most part, I put them in playlists and then kind of, you know, like to hear them throughout other things and mix them with other things. So it's like, if I don't do that, you know, I'm just not going to hear it ever again. Way through. It but this is cover is kind of so like a sick. resurgence of the early 2000s indie stuff, but okay. with this grand album, really unique voice from the lead singer. The lyrics are just astounding. This album is, you should definitely check it out if you haven't heard it. Real. This cover is just so, it just captures such a weird emotion of like, it, does. it feels to me like being at your grandpa's house or something. Yeah, Real. like seeing something that makes no sense or like you get mm -hmm. off a plane and the pilot gives you a little pin. It feels like an artifact. Yeah. yeah. You know? My favorite thing is like the really strong strong almost like sculpture like lines in the stretch on the bag like how the mm -hmm. light refracts off that plastic yeah it, gives it, these it looks really like nice... there's this artist that he's a sculptor and he literally makes like he like sculpts like pillows literally with marble and it looks like a pillow very clearly but you can see you know how rough it is because it's sculpted and not an actual pillow 
strong lines of motion and stuff that makes it feel like so solid or something. Yeah, and I don't think this is a photograph. I believe this is a painting. Oh yeah, it does look like a painting. Yeah, like, it is I a painting. Know, maybe I'm wrong. At first I thought it was a photograph, but it, it's, I can tell it up here, this, is, this has to be a painting. It has to be with this guy. Literally, that bag has a similar vibe of this. So where, you know, like it clearly looks like a pill, like to where you know what it is, but also you wouldn't want to jump on that because it looks like something that would hurt pretty bad if you did that. I haven't seen this before. That's hard. But like, that's so sick. Wrong, but it looks uncanny. Like there's something about yeah. it that feels too perfect and it's hyper yeah, exactly. real, which yeah. makes it feel non-real, yeah. you know? It's an S for me, but I'm probably biased because I like the album so much. So that's fair. I've heard songs off. I give it an A. Just you know, I haven't heard it. But if you're getting, I don't know how it does in context. Loves the album and the artwork. I'm the perspective of I can just love the artwork without yeah. really being familiar with the album. So it's an S too. Okay. Next we got Meriwether uh, Post Pavilion by Animal Collective. Now, I can't real. look at this one too long. <laughs> well, yeah, you have to. this already Everybody, tripping me look out. Look at this on the screen, and you'll you'll start to see why this album cover gets talked about. I yep. can feel it with my fucking You brain. can. So you've done more psychedelics than I have. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna need your opinion on this. Yeah, I, I mean, like it's trippy. Turn my eyes sure. out of focus. It's one of those ones where and I'm like, back in focus. focus yeah. at it, that's when it comes alive. You Do know? I have this one saved? Look at one point and you just kind of broaden your eyes, that's when it starts to move. It is very, it's a one trick. Horse. It's a one trick horse, um, but that's all, you know, one trick is better than no tricks. Yeah. Yeah, As a duh. graphic designer, I would say that this album cover gets talked about for years and years and years and yeah. years and years, more than mm -hmm. any album cover on this list, possibly, yeah. based on just the album artwork. Yeah. The Post Pavilion is Animal Collective's most accessible album. Mm -hmm. It has never heard anything about stuff it. On it. It has My Girls, their big hit. Like, music wise, I haven't heard any music from it. Never hear anyone really talk about the music, but this cover is more like you, you've seen this. If you're in the music space on the internet or in real life, you'd be at, you know what I'm saying? Like, you'd be, you've definitely seen this before. I think this did it a lot of favors because you go, yeah, you know, you're going to buy this on vinyl too to yeah. show to your friend and be yeah. like, look at this. You can feel it in your head too. It adds yeah. that extra dimension to art where it's like you not only you see it and it evokes an emotion, like you can. It has a texture. You can feel it on your skin almost. Yeah, there's an application, an interaction yeah. beyond mm -hmm. just pairing with the music or being yeah. what you see on Spotify. It's like a thing you can look at and interact with and it yeah. does something to your brain. Yeah. And I think that is like... I'm literally really just looking at it right now. I have nothing to say. I'm just... Rubber, you know? This is crazy. It's an a, though. See, to me, it's an S only because it's just so effective. You kind of have to give it an S, honestly. Talk about the album cover. You hey, know? you win this one, I get the next one. All right, next we got Delete Zeke's Frailty. So this one got mm. sent in a lot. Okay. If you don't know who Delete Zeke is, they are a... Idea. I would say a hyper-pop artist, but kind of reinventing, adding a lot of different genres into that okay. formula um this album is looks so like a grainy screenshot that's been deep fried of something from google images super emotional really interesting album and only 17 years old from what i understand wow yeah this one's so grainy it feels like it's a rug or like a blanket when people put their like high school photos on a blanket yeah and then you took a picture of that and added grain yeah it's <laughs> it's like insane or like a dream realm or something it's so fuzzy well that's what i get from the from it is that it's like a weird twilight zone dream yeah. situation where you're seeing everything this way and it's like yeah. everything's Staticky and just yeah. like I don't know, it's almost like Real. hyper nostalgia. Yeah, like it's Low not key. like when something's grainy, you get this nostalgic mm -hmm. feeling, this warmth to it. Yeah. This feels like it's like yeah, like it's take teetering that to the on, max. It's like teetering it's, on yeah. Exactly. Hey, low key. Like exactly. Low it almost key. feels like there's and an it, alien invasion. Kind of gives me the vibes of again an album that's just too new to be on in this video, but a lot of the uh, you know leading up to a great chaos, and again that kind of like super grainy borderline scary look for it you know considering a lot of the inspiration for that artwork was literal gore and uh you know what's what's the name of that website man live leak you know like that kind of live leak just a super grainy aesthetic 
Asian that's going to happen, even though this is just some small town house. Yeah. yeah. It feels like the trailer for Gummo. Nah, something's mm. wrong here. Like, I don't know. It might just be a slice of life, but it's terribly disturbing at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. This falls in an A or a B for me. This is an A, yeah. That's fair. I think it's it's really, really interesting. Yeah. And it works with the album really well, too. All right, we got our last one. Injury Reserves by the Time I Get to Phoenix. Mm. Yeah, I've been seeing this one get talked about. I've seen this cover a this whole is like, bunch. What, the sun rising above the clouds to it, yeah. or something? What do we have going on here? Well, I've always perceived it as a picture from a plane window. Yes. Because mm. that's how you see the cities above with the lights uh -huh. kind of like giving you that yeah. grid feeling. Yeah. And then... This almost reminds me of the episode of Twilight Zone where the monster is on the wing. Nightmare at 10,000 feet. Yes. Mm. It's like a swamp monster looking thing that's yeah. on the on the wing of and the it, plane. And then it has the sun kind of as the head of that. Yeah. But also this is like data moshed. Like it's maybe it's just because it's called by the time I get to Phoenix that I think this way. But I think of it as like you're seeing through heat. Oh, yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? And things get kind of distorted. But then also it's a little digital. So I don't really know. It's like digital that's artifacting fair. that is like pulling apart this yeah. kind of spirit. So like when I I used to look at my dad while he was grilling, and that would happen. So my dad was data moshing. I think so, yeah. That's, mm. yeah. Uh -huh. That makes a mean weenie, too. You know, I went it's to a underground rave with our stats guy last I don't know if we about this one right here. Data moshing. Maybe like a B. <laughs> that dude's <laughs> sick. Yeah, I <laughs> know. Yeah, I don't know how he's still so good at his job. <laughs> I think this is a strong A. Yeah, strong A. That's it's, real. It's close to an S for me, too, but the album, yeah, it is uh, <laughs> yeah. heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy album, like, will reach you at your core. I, I think it's, it's probably an S for all the people that love this album. By yeah, the way. I'm like sure. People say this is one of the best album covers of the past couple of years. So we were really heavy on That's A's fair. and S's during this. Oh my God. You guys sent in some really Deserving. great covers. So that is our album art tier list. It's a valid tier list so right there, bro. doing these with you. Yes. If you have some disagreements, get down in the comments. Let's duke it out. If you have some album <laughs> Only covers. Only one I'd move. I would put, if you're reading this, it's too late, to a B, a Man on the Moon 3, to an A or an S. But other than that, I feel like this is a pretty valid list. I'd like to see in this, or some other tier lists you'd like to I see. I wouldn't take any, any, any of those well. down. We got DJ Grant stuff in the description if you'd like to send him anything, ideas for games, ideas for tier lists, etc. Consider joining our Patreon. Like I said at the beginning, that's the best way you can support us. There's a lot of extra content the there right now, including extras from the Quadeca videos. And also, like the video, subscribe, all the stuff I said at the beginning. But Graydon, last thing we got to do is you got to leave these people with some advice to leave or live their lives by. Remember, if you're on a journey of education, much learning does not teach understanding. All right, this has been mm. Online TV. We love you, we appreciate you, and we will see you in the next one. It's real. I forgot to boost it, but you know, we be like that sometimes. We got a five-star rating on Cameo. Hey, look at us. There we go. Sick. Okay, buddy. Well, you, what? I had nothing. You want to see my impression of Drake? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesse, that's so good. Big fan. <laughs> Yo. Oh, man. Metro. Have y'all seen that video? Metro. Shut your boys up. And make some talks together. I love this video, bro. And I'm going to be using this AI uh, music generator on Tuesday on stream. I tried to on Friday, but it didn't work. Um, so Tuesday, I'm finna cook up. I gotta put Bad Biddy by JP in every possible genre I can think of. Um, that's gonna be fire. But anyways, that was a great vid, not gonna lie. Love to see it. Like I said, there was only two things that I personally would change. Uh, glad I finally got around to watching that video though, because I meant to watch that two years ago. I just didn't. Um, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. Not gonna lie. Banger.